It's Monday. You know what that means. Everybody has to get out the door by a certain time and it's going to be a sprint and there's going to be some tears involved. How can we reduce those tears and how can we make that sprint a little bit more enjoyable? Let's talk. Hey, welcome to Hyper Academy. My name is Ryan Fields Spack. Thank you for joining me today. This channel is all about how dads can do better and be better in supporting their wife and supporting their children. And we're here to talk today specifically about that morning sprint. If you've got kiddos that have to get out the door in the morning, whether it's for preschool, for an activity, or for regular plain old grade school, you know the feeling. It's an absolute madhouse in the house as soon as those kids wake up. So today I've got five tips to talk specifically about how you can improve upon and help out for your wife in the morning to be able to uh, get out of the house and not pull your hair out in the process. So let's jump straight into it. The first tip that helps my wife and I with our three kiddos, we've got a seven, a five, and a two and a half year old, is to prepare a lot the night before and it starts with bedtime. Our kids, our seven and our five-year-old, have the ability now to do some things when they wake up on their own. We have an alarm that set and wakes them up. The night before, we set up their clothes, their socks, everything that they need to get dressed on their own. We also pre-prep their toothbrushes, so we have the toothpaste on those brushes. They're set out, they're ready to go, and they are expected to do that before they come down. It wasn't always that easy. It took a lot of time and a lot of repetition to make them go back upstairs and do that so that they could have a feeling of, well, I better do this or I'm gonna to have to come back and do it. So they come down dressed, they come down with teeth brushed. That is a huge asset in the morning. The other thing we do to prep at night is we get as much of the stuff for the morning ready the night before. So we have our waters, all our water bottles filled in the fridge, ready to go. We pre-stage breakfast. We pre-stage our coffee and our tea. We pre-stage vitamins. All the stuff that you might have to pull out in the morning to get ready. If it's just ready in the morning, that means you get just a little bit more sleep before uh, you have to wake up to be able to do those things. So pre-planning and pre-prep the night before is absolutely huge. The second thing, this is what I love to do absolutely every morning if I can pull it off as I wake up about 10 to 15 minutes before my wife. I come down here to this very chair and I do a meditation routine. Meditation is extremely helpful for me to be able to focus and perform better throughout the day both at work and just as importantly with my kiddos and helping out my wife. So meditation is super easy, super simple. I've got a lot of information on this channel about meditation, but specifically what you can do is do focusing on your breath in and out. Set a two minute timer, set a five minute timer if you can on your phone, it's just that simple. Go into a quiet place, focus on your breath, eyes open or eyes closed, and inevitably your mind's gonna wander to here, to here. As soon as your mind wanders, acknowledge it, and bring your focus back to your breath. It's gonna wander again, bring it back to your breath. Every time your mind wanders, you're getting one rep, you're getting one physical exercise in your mind to be able to focus on the present moment when your mind wanders. And that will do you great benefits and dividends later on in the day as your mind starts to wander and you need to focus on things. Or more specifically in the next 10 minutes when all the kiddos get up, right? Meditation is huge. The other mindset thing that I really love to focus on is mindfulness. So the mindfulness part of it is when you brought yourself back to the present moment, right? So if you're going through your morning and you've got kids that are screaming and you've got activities and there's all kinds of drama that's happening in the house, make sure to do a mindfulness exercise early and often. First Just Breathe brought about by, brought about by Anne Marie Rossi is a perfect one where you can focus yourself Lower your pulse, lower your blood pressure, and focus on the task at hand, and it will absolutely improve upon your ability to help out in the morning. I've got a link in the description below that talks a lot more about that, and you can get that one-page guide to, to learn more about First Just Breathe. That's number two. The third thing is definitely, we talked about it, have the kids get ready on their own, right? So if they can come down with their clothes, their socks, everything on and ready to go, that's gonna be a huge one to be able to push forward. And, um, and then they will be able to do all the other things, use the restroom um, and get their backpack ready and all of that a little bit faster because they've already been done and gotten ready on their own. Have specific separate jobs for your wife and for me right, or for you. So, um, and it's not necessarily jobs, but it's roles that each of you take. So at least in our household, 
I immediately come down and I get the waffles and the um, um, toaster going. I get the tea going for my wife and then I start unloading the dishwasher, right? So my job is the dishwasher, tea, getting a little bit of the breakfast done. Well, my wife gets lunch packed, ready to go, gets some words practice for spelling words for the day and is doing some other things to get the other kiddos ready to get out the door, right? So if we can bifurcate those tasks, work as a team, that's gonna be absolutely huge. And then finally, bonus tip, how can you help your wife in all facets of the day, but specifically in the morning? And um, take on those tasks specifically with a smile wherever possible. Know that um, in most households, at least especially in my household, your wife bears a ton of the burden of raising the kiddos and doing all the things. So if we can take some of that burden off with a smile, it will really help out both from a relational standpoint between both you and your wife, as well as to take the edge off the morning and the frustrations. Try not to get frustrated when she gets frustrated. If she's getting frustrated with something and you raise to that level, it's just going to continue to increase. So if you can do that mindfulness exercise, Bring yourself down to a calm state that will help her to feel more confident that she can do what she needs to do. And then help her out with the things like distracting children while one has to go use the restroom, right? Um, Or while one is screaming, you can sit down and take the um, distraction away so that uh, mom can focus on what's happening for another child, right? So being that teamwork, helping your wife out, and then most importantly saying thank you early and often to your wife will um, incredibly improve upon the relationship that you have with her. Um, I try to do this, I don't do it as much as I should, and I reiterate that to myself by talking to you. How can I be a better dad, a better husband by just saying thank you? It will go um, a long way from that. So, those are the tips. Crazy mornings are crazy mornings, right? If you can prepare the night before, if you can meditate, be mindful. If you can have those kids get ready on their own, um, have different roles for you and your wife in the morning specifically, and then help her out where possible with a smile on your face and say thank you, it might help. What tips do you have? What have you done that might help out in the morning as well? Let's have this community of us dads really improve upon things. Put your thoughts in the comments below. If you like content like this, we come back every single Thursday with a new episode talking about how we can be better dads, do better for our kids and for our wives. Hope you're doing well and have a great day. Thanks.